How's it going, everybody? Sage the Collector back with this month's Collectible Card Club Modern Sapphire Basketball Subscription Box. These are $95 shipped. Last few months, the packs in here have been awesome. At least around $95, if not more. So, still my favorite sub box on the market. We're going to find out if we got more excellent packs this month. Ooh, we're using all three slots. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. Okay, that must mean there's a lot of packs in here. Let's see what we got. Seeing some familiar faces from last month. All right, man, look at all those packs. We've got Mosaic, is it Hobby or Fast Break? That is Fast Break. Got Chronicles, that is definitely Hobby, yep. Got a Mosaic uh, Pink Camo out of a Cello pack. I think that's 2019, 2020, can't remember. Got a Revolution, that is Hobby, I believe, yep. Player of the Day. Yo, there's a Hoops Premium Bonus Pack out of a Cello. I think these are out of a Cello Prism, but last couple they've sent me have had one card in them, and they, it's been an auto, so I'm not sure if that's what that is or not. Uh, it might be this one that had the auto. I can't remember. Anyway, got these weird bonus packs. Got one of these uh, 2011 hoops packs. And then a Hobby Elite pack. So, man, lots of packs to go through this month. We are going to end like that. Because those two... This one especially could have an auto. I think there's like a 33% chance that could have an auto. So we're going to start off a little uh, mosaic pink camo pack. If you guys are interested in picking one of these up, I always leave a link down to the Collectible Card Club down in the description. We got our Pink Camos, Montrez, Willie Cauley-Stein, and rookie Kendrick Nunn. I don't know where Kendrick Nunn is these days. I want to say last time I knew he was in L.A., but I could be wrong. Anyway, this year's Revolution, going galactic hunting. We got their, their backwards this year. Our rookie is Malachi Branham. Ooh, there you go. A little Cage Shockwave Fractal. Very nice. Got Jordan Poole. Got a Luca. I <laughs> love this picture. And we got a Ja Wick. All right, so not terrible, not terrible. Let's do this NBA Player of the Day. You can get hollows. I got, uh, I think last month was the month where I pulled that uh, Devin Booker, and then I've also pulled a Tatum. Ooh, got another hollow. Let's see who it is. We got Tyrese and numbered AI. Very cool. Nice jersey match, too. I'll take that. Cool. I dig me some jersey match numbered AI. All right, we got this uh, Hoops Premium bonus pack. So these will be lasers. Let's see if we can pull a, a Ja or a Zion rookie or a Kobe rookie from my PC. We got AD. Got Troy Brown and Bruno as our rookie. So, eh. all right, here we go with this Panini Prism Draft Pick Extra Pack. It's, I don't know if there are three cards. This might be one of those, uh, yeah, three cards in the, the red, white, and blue. So this is not the one where I got the auto in last time, I don't think. These are just the regular red, white, and blue. So we got Jaden, Sadiq, and Precious. Hmm. I'm not really, you can't really pull anything cool out of like just the regular red, white, and blues. All right, so this does feel like one card. This could be an auto again. Last time was Josh Green. This time it is, but it is Elijah Hughes. So, yeah, it's around the same as Josh Green, although Josh Green kind of, he was kicking it up a little uh, last season. I think he's going to do well this season. But uh, there you go. Man, I don't know what those packs are, but they just produce an auto, I guess. <laughs> All right, here we go. 2011 hoops. I don't know what we're chasing in here. I don't know if it says. Let's see. Yeah, I guess we can pause and look at that. Autograph. Oh, you can pull autographs. Slam dunk. Okay, so you can pull some cool inserts. I've never pulled anything cool out of these packs, but I've only opened a few. So let's hope my luck churn turns around here. Got a little D Wade, Jameer, Kevin Love, KG. Got Beedrins, Kyle Korver, oh, Solomon, and Amari. So that is what I'm used to. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Okay, so nothing, my luck did not change with those 2011 hoops. Here we go. We got Elite Hobby, 
These are also very boomer bust, usually bust. You gotta hope that the middle card is a really, really good one. Otherwise, you get a lot of base like this. We got Markeef, Brunson, we got RJ, and we got a regular orange of Jordan Poole. So there you go. That's uh, that's pretty much all you can expect from these elite packs, which is eesh, rough. Although I've seen like the LeBron of this. If you grade the LeBron, it's actually kind of worth it. But uh, Jordan Poole, not worth it. Here we go. Fast break. We need some help here. We got uh, it's looking pretty. It's looking pretty weak up on uh, hit row here. Gonna need some sort of numbered card here. Got Joel, Gary, Kevin, Diallo, Miles, Dejounte. Got Tatum. All right, Frank Jackson. Man, who's he hiding? <laughs> Montrez fast break. Oh my God, that might be it. Trey Murphy. Bones Highland, and at least we got an Evan. I'm just going to put him up here just because we need to fill the slot with something. All right, it comes down to this. Can we pull a sweet auto or something out of here to save this? It's possible. All right. Well, got a little Usman. We got J-Dub. Okay, I'll take that. Got Keegan. Okay, there you go. Uh, that's not going to save the break, but that's going to be a pretty nice card. Paolo Vertex. Oh, no filler. I was so hoping for an RPA. I could feel it. It was feeling this whole pack was feeling a little thick, but unfortunately, we're going to have to just do with this uh, Paolo. It looks like he's got no hair, but that's pretty cool. Numbered Paolo. I will take that. Filler cheese. And we've got a little uh, Luca Chrome. Got Jay Nivey on the uh, Dynagon. That's a cool looking card. We'll put him up top. Nah, we'll cover it up, Kate. Joker's backwards, but these are just the regular cards. Tari Eason, Rookie, and Joker. All right, so only a handful of hits this time, but that's usually the case with these subscription boxes. I did pull this Dynagon base, uh, Jaden Ivey. Got the Fractal Cade, and then definitely the three hits of the break. We got a numbered AI a player of the day. We got this Elijah Hughes auto, and then the card by far from the break. The best one is this Paolo Blue to 99. I will take that. That definitely saved us from Bleak Town. If you want to watch me rip last month's collectible card club box, definitely click here.